New tonight, frustrated business owners after burglars target their livelihood in the middle of the night. Tonight, they're making changes to protect their businesses and keep them open. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Kristen Hartman. Jerry has the night off. Burglars have targeted a handful of bars and restaurants right along North High Street. 10 TV's Justin Moss joins us live with the video that shows the burglars taking what's not theirs. Justin. Yeah, Kristen, burglars are targeting businesses all around this area. They hit Ace of Cups right there. They also hit the business right across the street. And now business owners here in Clintonville are fed up and want these crooks caught. It's a very hard thing to watch. This is the surveillance footage that owner Matthew Gill couldn't bear to see. It shows a burglar breaking into the India Oak Grill, stealing just a few hundred bucks, but causing thousands of dollars in damage. It's a hard thing to come in and, and find your, your business in disarray. Along with all these liquor bottles that were broken, Gill says the crook broke a door by prying it open. This is the new door that I've had to put on. Gill says it's the second time in a month his business was targeted. This surveillance video from last month shows a man casing the place and trying to pry open a door. It's frustrating. You know, I, I've lived here my entire life and I've never seen anything like this. The burglaries have other owners frustrated as well. Crooks busted into several Clintonville businesses, including the Crest Gastro Pub and Mozart's Bakery and Cafe. Ace of Cups was also broken into, and so was Bay Ruth Cafe just across the street. They've only been open a few months. Everything was locked. Me and my dad left the restaurant. Everything was fine. Um, in the morning we got here, the door was unlocked. Now the owners are using this chain for extra security after someone pried open their door. Back at India Oak Grill, the owners are also beefing up security and they hope this footage may help put the thieves behind bars. This is a great neighborhood. I love this neighborhood, and, you know, I'd really like to, to catch these folks and put them away. Tonight, we are still waiting to hear back from Columbus police on whether all these burglaries might be connected. Reporting live tonight, Justin Moss, 10TV News.